Okay, this is the P2 paper from June 2022. This is question number one. And as we can see, this is a nice straightforward binomial expansion question. Let's jump straight into it. Uh, we're gonna be using the binomial expansion. It's a really good idea to learn this and be able to just reel this off really quickly if ever you need it. So A plus B to the N is equal to A to the N plus, and then we have NC1 or N brackets one written down like that. And you just get into a flow of writing this down. Take one off the power, have a B being included. So N2, take one off the power, match that up with the number of Bs plus so and so and so and so. And on to, if we wanted the general term, NR, A to the N minus R, B to the R and so on. So with this one, we've got two plus three eighths X to the power of 10. And I actually just follow the same process through. I'm not substituting in here so much as just saying, well, it's two to the power of 10. It's then gonna be 10 C one, two to the nine and one of whatever the bit adding on is, which in this case is three eighths X plus 10 two. 2 to the 8 now, 3 over 8x squared, and so on. You just keep going through the number of terms that you need. So in this case, I think they want to, what do they want? Um, first four terms, so 1, 2, 3, one, one more term. So 10, 3, 2 to the 7, 3 over 8x cubed as we're going through. Now in terms of me showing you what to do here, that, that's it really, you've just got to practice so that you're good at being able to multiply all these various different things out. Two to the 10 is 1024. There's no negatives in here, so I don't need to worry about what's happening with the sign. I know my X's are gonna go X, X squared, X cubed. So it's only the coefficients that I've got to work out. And 10 C1 times two to the nine times three eighths works out to be 1920 plus 10 C2 times two to the eight times three over eight squared. Just, you know, as I say, make sure you practice these so that you, we're not making silly mistakes going through just filling out the various different values here. And as, as long as you've done a little bit of practice, these should be relatively straightforward. Nothing complicated about this one. So uh, that's all we need to do for that.